Alright, so we just got back from our morning routine of walking into whatever establishment we're parked out front of and using their bathroom. So last night we stayed at the Hoover Dam Casino in Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas. And if you watched my last video, this spot will look kind of familiar because it is where I left off in my last video. And today we're leaving this lovely casino parking lot that actually had a pretty decent view of the lake and the mountains to head down into Vegas. So I've had a bunch of people ask me why I don't share my location or have some sort of map where you guys can track me and see where I'm at. And honestly, the only reason is just safety. I don't want the entire world to know where I'm parked at when I'm parked there because you never know who's gonna pull up or who's gonna be tracking that location. It just doesn't seem very safe to me, so that's why I don't have anything like that. And I saw a couple of people comment, well, I know that people who have do the same type of videos, but they're on a boat, they, they have the locations, which kind of makes sense because nobody's gonna go out on a boat and go find them in the middle of the ocean. It's very unlikely that anyone's gonna go find them, but me camping in a random parking lot or somewhere in a city, people are gonna show up and it just wouldn't be worth it. So that's why I don't have my actual location tracked. And that's also why I haven't mentioned that I'm actually flying home tomorrow uh, at 6 a.m. to go hang out with my girlfriend and see some friends and family for a couple days because I don't want the entire internet to know that I'm leaving my van behind for five days in an empty parking lot where someone can go break into it or, or do something to the van. So I haven't mentioned it on my channel yet. Um, and this video will be uploaded after I've already flown back and picked up my van. Uh, that's why I'm not worried about it now. But, but we are heading to the airport today because I'm going to be stealth camping in the parking lot there before I take my flight tomorrow morning. And I've flown out of the Vegas airport like five or six times since I've lived in my van to fly back home. One, because it's the cheapest airport. And two, because the parking there is unbelievably good. It's only $10 a day. You pull right in, they have a shuttle system that runs 24 seven. So I park in a lot the night before, usually if I have an early flight. And then I just wake up in the morning, hop on the shuttle and I'm already at the airport. So I don't even have to wake up really that much earlier than my actual flight is. So it's really nice. But before we head to our campsite at the airport tonight, uh, I got to do a few things, stop a few places. So. We got about a 25 minute drive into Vegas, so I'll check in with you guys once I get there. This is actually kind of crazy. I have been to Vegas so many times and I have never seen it flanked on both sides by snow-capped mountains. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure how common that is in the winter. I don't think I've ever really been here in the winter time. I don't know how well you can see it, but those mountains in front of me are snow-capped. And then those mountains off to the right over there are also snow-capped. Looks pretty cool. All right, so we've made it to our first stop of the day, Planet Fitness, because it has been a few days since I have been able to get myself a proper workout. So stop in here, get a workout in in a shower, and then head over to the airport. feels good after a nice shower. So I think before I head over to the airport tonight, I'm gonna make one more quick stop to get myself some dinner because I don't feel like making any dishes tonight that I'm gonna have to do. And I also am very low on food because I haven't gone to the grocery store in a couple days because I don't wanna leave a bunch of food just in my fridge. All right, so we're going to the uh, Superior Burrito Restaurant aka Cadoba Mexican Grill. Everything they have is better than Chipotle, in my opinion. Queso is better, the meat's better, rice is better, and the portion size is better. How's it going? Can I just get a, uh, a bowl? All right, dinner secured. Let's make our way over to the airport. So the only thing I'm kind of bummed out about about this airport is that there is two terminals. So there is a terminal one and a terminal two and specific airlines fly out of terminal one and specific airlines fly out of terminal two or terminal three. I think it's terminal one and terminal three for some reason. I don't know. The airline that I'm flying is out of terminal one, which is a little bit more inconvenient than terminal three because terminal three, you can park in the lot and then just walk over to the airport. <laughs> But Terminal 1, the lot is kind of far away, so you have to park in the lot and then take a shuttle in the morning over to the uh, actual terminal. Because I can't park this thing in garages because it's too tall, so it doesn't fit in most garages. 
so I have to park in the economy lot, which is just a little bit farther away, so. Just means I gotta wake up an extra 30 minutes early so that I can catch that shuttle ride. In the grand scheme of things, it's not too bad because I don't have to drive to the airport in the morning, I just have to wake up and go, which is a benefit of sleeping in their lot. There she is. That is where we're calling home tonight. <clears throat> it's actually super close to the strip. Yeah. So cheap. Daily maximum $12. I want to kind of try to be close to one of these shuttle stops so I don't have to walk super far in the morning. So there's one right here. And I think there's also one down here to the left. But I'm not sure, honestly. Oh, there's a bunch parking up here, so I'm just going to take one of these spots. There we go. Take this one right here. 2G spot 120. There's another van lifer parked over there. Leave this ticket up here so I don't lose it. Yeah. This is it. Strip is pretty close. You can see the uh, Mandalay Bay, the Luxor, Ferris wheel, basically everything from here. And then mountains off in the distance, mountains off in the distance. So it's actually a pretty beautiful kind of airport. And I always love parking in spots like this because they're usually fenced in, in these barbed wire kind of fenced in areas that there's really not a lot of foot traffic near. So when I park in airport parking lots, I actually feel a lot safer than pretty much anywhere else. So it's actually really nice. I think I'm gonna try to get to bed pretty early tonight because my flight takes off at like 6 a.m., which means I have to be at my terminal by 5.15, which means I have to leave here by like 4.30. So gotta be up super early tomorrow, which I hate doing. I am not a morning person. So there isn't actually much that I need to do in order to get the van ready for me leaving it for a few days. I checked the weather for Vegas for the next four or five days and it's not even supposed to get below freezing. So I don't have to worry about my pipes freezing. I don't have to worry about Pretty much anything other than making sure my electrical system is off so I don't run out of battery. But other than that, there's not really much I have to do. I'm gonna finish this bowl real quick and we'll start getting ready. All right. Essentially, the only thing I have to do to prepare is um, put up my window shades and oh my God, look at that sunset. Hang on, let me take you guys outside real quick. That might be the best looking sunset I've seen so far on my trip. That is spectacular. I don't know if the uh, camera's doing it any justice, but that is a beautiful sunset with the mountains and the clouds. If all these buildings weren't here, that would be spectacular. But what I was saying is the only thing I have to do really to prepare to put up all my window shades just because it makes me feel a little bit more secure in knowing that nobody can like peek into the van while I'm gone. But I got these on Amazon for like 20 bucks. But yeah. Anyways, it is starting to get late and I have to be up super early. So I'm just gonna get myself packed and then go to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. <sighs> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's been crazy windy out. I heard it kind of all night long. It didn't really keep me up, but every time I woke up throughout the night, I could hear it. And it's so windy out right now, but it's also pretty cold in the van, so. I think I'm gonna get dressed in bed under the covers. It's cold. So I got my sofa all packed yesterday and I'm not paying the extra fee to bring carry on. So we got it all packed into my backpack that travels with me for free. Make sure that all of my lights are off. So windy out. All right, we made it to the shuttle stop. If I huddle in this little uh, little corner back here, it kind of keeps me shielded from the wind. But it says the uh, wait time is approximately 30 minutes. So I'm hoping that, that is not correct, because if the last one just left, that means we're gonna be waiting that full 30 minutes, which would not be very fun. Also, something else I do every single time that I leave the van and go on flights is after I leave the van and I lock it, I take my key and I put it in this back pouch in my backpack and leave it in there and it doesn't come out ever until I get back here so that I don't lose it and I don't forget it. We got that all tucked away now. Thank you very much. Right, let's go catch a flight.
made it back to Las Vegas and I had to grab myself something to eat because that was a five hour flight. And I didn't really eat much before. But I'm gonna finish this, we're gonna go get a shuttle, we're gonna find the van. So it is currently 6.15 p.m. and I've never flown into this airport this early. Usually I get in really late, like 12 or one. So I'm hoping that the uh, shuttle stop isn't too packed so I don't have to wait too long, but it doesn't look like it is. And it's so wild that the flight back to Vegas is over an hour and a half longer than the flight from Vegas to Baltimore. And I know it has to do with like the winds and you're flying against the wind, but that's just crazy that it adds an extra hour and a half. And it looks like there's nobody over there at the shuttle stop, so that's good. We should be able to get on and go. This front one? Yeah. Awesome. Woo. That was the quickest pickup I think I've ever had at this airport. That was nice. And if my strategy worked out correctly, because I am one of the most forgetful people that I know, my key should still be in that pouch in my backpack. There she is. Ain't she pretty? There she is. The key. And we made it. We're back home. Just as cozy as I remember. So I don't think I'm gonna unpack here. I'm gonna go find myself a uh, another spot to camp tonight because I don't wanna pay another $10 to stay here tonight. So I'm just gonna get out of here as quickly as I can. Take down my window shades, it looks like one of them fell off. And I think I'm just gonna go stay at the Planet Fitness that I normally stay at when I, uh, I'm in Vegas. $66, not too bad for four or five nights. The amount of times that I have stayed in this exact parking lot is actually kind of a little bit ridiculous. So I've stayed here at least 10 times at this Planet Fitness Walmart parking lot because of how conveniently close it is to the airport and how often I fly out of the Vegas airport. It's not necessarily somewhere that I would seek out to stay in overnight, but the sheer convenience of it is just unbeatable. We'll just park right here, right in front of the Planet Fitness. I will say it is uh, pretty sad coming back to the van and being alone for probably another month, month and a half after going home and hanging out with my girlfriend, seeing all my friends, my family, and having a bunch of stuff to do, people to see, people to talk to. Um, definitely gets tough at times, especially if you're doing it full time by yourself. There are a lot of times that the experiences would have been just a little bit better if there was someone there with me to share it with. And, and I know I have you guys, but Still gets lonely sometimes. But I am unbelievably tired. I gotta unpack my stuff and I got some work to do. So I think I'm probably just gonna kill these lights, go to bed because it's only 7.45 here. But for me, it's 10.45 because now I'm used to East Coast times again. So I'm gonna try to get myself back on time with these West Coast times. As always, I truly appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, think about clicking that subscribe button. It really does help. And I will catch you guys next time.